Houston, we have a problem. Interstellar object, comet, or whatever the heck it is, still provides no answers. It gives us more questions than answers. And now it's hiding behind a veil of dust. What does that mean? And the dust mass shed by 3i Atlas also opens new questions. We have just talked yesterday about the particles that it's shedding, that they are so much bigger than common sunlight scattering dust that is coming from normal comets. So now, since interstellar object, whatever the heck it is, 3i Atlas, past its closest point to Earth, that doesn't mean it's out of sight. It's now going towards Jupiter in a trajectory that is surprisingly precise into Jupiter's hill radius. And it'll take a while until we get all the data and images in that have been taken when it was closest to Earth. And now every day we're getting exciting new information and new clues about what that might be. And I want to say it again, there's so many reports on the internet and unfortunately right now on YouTube, there's thousands of fake AI YouTube channels. They have even impersonated Harvard professor Avi Loeb, created an AI Avi Loeb and made a channel out of it. It's super bad. All these AI voice channels that like one minute ago, it's happening. This just happened. They're doing these Atlas videos and, and it's all BS. And so many of them are claiming that Harvard professor Avi Loeb has said it's a natural comate. Um, he just made a statement correcting that. He said, I haven't said anything. I haven't said anything new to from what I've said in July that it's that it hopefully is a comet or most likely is a comet, but he gives it a 40% chance that it's something else. And then he has collected all these anomalies. We still don't have the answers to that. And we will look into more mysteries today guys so stay tuned it's really really interesting and if you could do me a favor guys give this video an early like and press the hype button that helps my channel doesn't cost you anything so thank you for that let's dive into this captivating story let's talk about the dust mass that is shed by 3i atlas 3i atlas is so to speak dustier than we expected we talked about the particles yesterday that they are too big. So the dust tells us a story, one that we can actually measure, guys. And here it gets interesting. 3i Atlas, our interstellar visitor that flew through our solar system this year, it just didn't pass by. It was shedding dust. And that dust glow is something we can analyze and learn how much material it has lost because that gives us important clues about what 3i atlas might be so here's how it works guys when sunlight hits dust particles that are floating around this object that dust reflects the light the brighter the glow the, the more dust there must be and we know 3i atlas was very very bright so now astronomers looked at images that were taking after 3i Atlas was passing closest to the sun, perihelion. The dust cloud around it was so incredibly bright, it looked like a mirror tens of miles across, if you like squinted it at the right way. So now here's a simple trick. If each dust grain is about 10 microns across. That's a tiny speck, about one thousandth of the width of a human hair. One human hair, I can't, this are several. One thousandth of the width, width tongue breaker of a human hair. This is kind of crazy. So we can count how many of those would be needed to make that glow that 3i Atlas has produced. So to produce this observed brightness that we definitely saw, many, many astronomers saw it, there must have been about, how do you say this, 10 elevated times 18 dust 
particles. That means a one followed by 18 zeros. Really, really big. So each of those tiny dust particles has a weight. And if you multiply all these particles together, the total mass of dust around interstellar object 3 Atlas is roughly 10 million kilograms. Is that 20 million pounds? So now that sounds like a lot, right? But relative to the gas that's being lost at the same time from the comet, it's only a small fraction, only about 0.7% of the actual material that is flowing out of 3i Atlas. So let's put that in context. What am I talking about? What does that mean? The dust to gas ratio in the space between stars and our galaxy is also about 1%. So this dusty output isn't crazy. It fits with what we know about interstellar environments. But what makes this interesting is how big the particles seem to be. Most comet dust that we see floating around comets is smaller than one micron. But here, the characteristic size that fit, fits the data is about 10 microns, like 10 times bigger. That is significantly bigger. And of course, that raises the question, where do these bigger grains come from? One idea is that 3i Atlas might have picked them up from a molecular cloud. What is a molecular cloud? That's a dense region between stars where larger dust grains are common. So did it fly through there, picked it up? We don't have all the answers yet. The dust mass and size are measured. But why does this object carry such material? That is still a mystery. The dust around 3i Atlas that we see is not just a pretty glow. It's unusual. And it's probably a record of the environment where 3i Atlas came from. And I would say that scientists are just trying to read the clues. They're not understanding them yet. And speaking of that dust, I mentioned it at the beginning. 3i Atlas is hiding behind a veil of dust. Something about 3i Atlas is hidden from our view. Not because we don't have telescopes, but because it's wrapped in dust. A thick veil of particles that block our view from its surface. We cannot see the surface. Is this by intention, guys? Is it? Astronomers have been tracking interstellar object for a month, right? Since it was discovered on July 2nd. They've taken many images. And every image, one thing stands out. The dust doesn't behave like the tiny particles that we see around typical comets. We have this anti-tail, we talked about this. The, the jet of dust that's pointing towards the sun that is so large, this magnif magnificent anti-tail also tells us something important, right? To travel the observed distance and the speed, the particles must be about 10 microns in radians, in radius. We just explained it a few minutes ago. That's far larger than the specks that make comet tails, the usual comet tails. And we know this because small dust gets pushed by sunlight, by the solar winds. And if the particles around 3i Atlas were very small, they wouldn't stay together long enough to produce what we see, that anti-tail. They wouldn't stay together. And they're really staying together. That's really a mystery. Highly, highly densely stick together. They're not like a, like a mist, like a wide mist, because the solar winds are pushing against them. So 10 microns seems to be the size, not one micron or even smaller. That's the key. But here, guys, here's where it gets really interesting. Because that dust, that bright glow, is hiding the surface of 3i Atlas. 
We can see the dust around it, but we can't easily see what is underneath. And that's what we want to know, right? What's behind that wall of dust? We don't know. I don't want to say yet will we ever know. That dust itself could be part of the object's own material, or could it have been gathered from its journey to the interstellar space before it even came here? That's the big mystery. Because dust particles of this size, that large, they weren't made by sunlight pressure alone. Something else must have been there. They could be leftovers from grain growth in molecular clouds, regions between stars where dust clumps together, yes. So 3i Atlas might be carrying maybe like a proof or a record of its own birth environment. But we can't see the record yet what's on it because the dust veil blocks our view. And that is really shitty, right? We want to see it. So researchers are trying to dig deeper now. That dust whale is both. It's a, it's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. It's both. If we can figure out what's underneath that dust whale, we will probably or we might learn something entirely new about where this object came from and how interstellar objects form, if it's natural, or what it is, right? But Unfortunately for now, 3i Atlas remains partially hidden. We're waiting for more data to come in, and I'm certainly going to report about this. So it does clues shine brightly. They continue to do that. Scientists are trying to decode them, and I will let you know about that. In the meantime, guys, there was an earthquake in Taiwan, another one, powerful earthquake, again, was felt as far as Hong Kong, if you want to see that in the end screen. But so much else is going on. So please like, hype, subscribe, click the notification bell, watch one of the videos in the end screen or go to my channel start page, click on videos, click on recent videos, then you can binge watch it all. And if you click right now, I'll see you in a second. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.